Sadra Parks has been going through some real estate drama recently and the Atlanta blogs have been catching it all. First, she purchased a new home in December 2016 for almost $2 million. The selling price was $1.91 million to be exact. And apparently that home was one of the major points of contention in her divorce from Apollo. Apollo accused Phaedra of hiding assets in the first divorce that was granted. And that's why he filed divorce papers against her for a second time. He wanted to force her to list all of her assets, including this new home. And as you know, the second divorce was granted and the details of it were sealed. In June, the blogs reported that Phaedra placed the home she shared with Apollo up for sale. Pictures leaked from an open house that she held in July showing the baby's bedrooms and everything. And now the blogs have gotten a hold to a listing of Phaedra's new home that is up for rent. Allegedly, since she's no longer receiving a Bravo check, she's not able to afford the upkeep on her new home, so she's decided to rent it out. Hopefully, Phaedra is not currently living in this home with her children because the address is all over the internet. Zillow listed the address of the house, which I have blurred out, and a rental price of $10,556 per month. Now, when Phaedra was selling her previous home, she was smart enough to use a boutique real estate agency that did not post public listings. But with this house, she did allow the listing to be posted publicly. Then when the blogs got a hold of it, she snatched it down and claimed that it was never for lease. She wrote on Twitter, rumors my house for lease is a lie. If you're so trifling and need a place to stay, I may consider letting you use my guest house going back to my vacay. And on Instagram, she wrote, while you're away, trifling people always try to play. I'm in Martha's Vineyard. You can't even spell Massachusetts in my Nicki Minaj voice. Hashtag it's a lie. Hashtag I'm the only one who lives in Buckhead. Hashtag unbothered. Now, this is what I think. You guys know Phaedra is a lawyer or a lie lawyer, however you want to pronounce it. And she tends to sometimes stretch the truth. Not necessarily lie, but just stretch the truth until it's almost unrecognizable. When I look at what she tweeted, I see that she specifically said that her house is not for lease. There's a slight difference between rent and lease that we should all be aware of, especially when dealing with Phaedra Parks. Renting is short term, like month to month rental agreements, whereas leasing is for long term agreements like six months to a year. She may have specifically said that her house is not for lease because it's not available for long-term lease, as in six months to a year. But that doesn't mean it's not available for short-term renting, say for some millionaire who wants to rent it for a month or two. I also think this may be the case because in her next tweet she actually says, if you're so trifling and need a place to stay, I may consider letting you use my guest house. Which confirms my theory that she's using the new house as a guest house, which is available to rent for short periods of time, but not available for long-term leasing. So she's not necessarily lying, but she may be taking advantage of the fact that some people interchange renting and leasing when they're actually two slightly different things. Y'all know Phaedra is a tricky one, and she's also very smart, but she's not as smart as she thinks she is.